So I just wanted to read you guys um, a prayer with everything that's going on uh, in this world right now because the other night I was praying for this world and our nation. Um, there's so much information out there that's really just starting to put a lot of fear into people. And as I was praying, God had led me to um, Psalms 43.3, which says, Oh, send out your light and your truth. And let me lead, let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. So what that's saying is that we can go to God because he is the light. He is the way and he's the truth. And right now there's so much darkness. We need his light. So it's saying if we ask him for his light, because right now maybe all of us can't even shine our own light. And honestly, it should be his light that's shining through us anyway, and his truth. Because when we lean on our own understanding, we're going to fool ourselves. There's so much confusion and fear and darkness right now that God is saying, you need me. And we've let this happen. So I'm going to read the whole psalm. Um, it says that it's actually a prayer to God in time of trouble. It says, Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from a deceitful and unjust man, for you are the God of my strength. Why do you cast me off? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? We have to think about that. Who's our enemy right now? God cannot lie, God cannot be evil, so he's the one we need to trust. Then it continues to say the scripture he gave me. Um, oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. The tabernacle is God's dwelling place. You, he's secluded us right now in isolation so you guys can have time alone with him. So whatever you have to do, you have to get that time with him right now. Because things are changing and right now we need God back you know in our nation and in our lives uh, then it continues to say then I will go to the altar of God to God my exceeding joy and on the harp I will praise you oh God my God we must sing praises to God that's how we invite him in he's God he created it all without it we're nothing so the way we can come against things is just by worshiping him. So if you need to put on worship music or whatever you need to do, um, do that and just thank him. You don't have to make it complicated. Listen, you guys, most of you know me. You know, I just got sick of life and I was like, what's the truth? Because as we know, we don't know what to believe. And all I did was ask God to lead me and he's done that. So. At this point, I think we all need to just really sit down and ask ourselves, what's the truth? Not what feels good to me, but what's the truth? Um, and the last verse says, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquitted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him to help of my countenance and my God. Right? So we need him in the, in the face of everything. We need him, we need to seek him, right? Seek his face. You know, we need to be in his dwelling place. That's where we're really going to find peace and that's where we're going to find truth. So that's my prayer to you guys, um, that you just really ask God to bring his light into the situation and his truth and to drive out all this darkness. And everything you do, you should do in Jesus' name because there is only one God and his name is Jesus. I just hope that all you guys are safe. Um, most of you that know me know I hate doing videos and things like this. But um, I'm thinking of all you guys. I love you all, and you guys are all in my prayer. And I pray soon, you know, we hear some good news um, and that we can, you know, move forward. But we move forward this time with God, and we don't take him out of everything anymore. We must, we must, we must put God back into everything. Without him, we are nothing.